I am only Triple Seven. This is the Dodgy Kebab, and on this episode of Conversion Chaos, we are looking at Street Fighter 2. Let's start off 8 bit, and here is the ZX Spectrum version of Street Fighter 2. Atrocious, I know, but the actual character sprites look like what they're meant to do, so uh, one big bonus there. But to be honest, it does look bit of a travesty but I remember back in the day thinking this looked awesome but then again I was about 11 years old so meh continuing on with the 8-bit versions we've got the Commodore 64 one uh, the sprites look well nothing like Street Fighter 2 um, although it is quite fast, quite fluid for the Commodore 64, but to be honest, this could be anything, couldn't it? This could be absolutely anything. It just says Street Fighter 2 in the spirit only. Moving up to the 16-bit ones, and this is the Atari ST, and look how awfully slow it is. It is a travesty. This is, it's unplayable really. I mean, well it's not, it's just piss poor. It's really, really piss poor. You wouldn't want to play it. It's just that, that awfully painfully slow. And now it's rather funkier but less musically equipped Brethren, the Amiga. And it's a lot faster. It looks fairly similar, to be honest. Like, like with the ST1, they've got the graphics down pretty well, but they are 16-bit machines. But mm, just still lacking that certain something, isn't it? But at least it's better than the awful, awful Atari ST. And now we move on to the good 16-bit versions. This one is the PC Engine, and it's remarkably good actually. Um, only you let down by one fact is that the PC Engine has got a really pants pad. So it's only got two buttons, so you have to get a special pad for it. Um, but the graphics are excellent, and the sound is really good. Um, even the scrolling is brilliant. It's really, really good. Really surprised by this version. <laughs> And now we've got the Mega Drive version. Uh, the graphics are good, I think the sound's good as well. Some people say the sound's a bit ropey. Uh, compared to the snares, I suppose it is. But everything else is pretty good, the speed's really good. And the version of this is not actually the World Warrior like the uh, all the other console versions are. It's actually of uh, Champion uh, Street Fighter 2 Championship. So, um, yeah, a really good version, a really good version. And, well, it had the same problems kind of as the PC Engine, although you only had three buttons on the pad as default, you could get the six button pad, and a lot of people did. I had one, two in fact. And now we move on to the last one, the Super Nintendo version, which a lot of people saw as the definitive console home port. Uh, you can see why, the graphics are brilliant, uh, scrollings are excellent. The sound's really good, a bit muffled on this emulator though, um, but it is it is a brilliant version, a brilliant version, although the only problem I had is that although there is enough buttons on this NES pad, two of them obviously have to be the shoulder button, so it's not quite in the right position, you could get uh, a third party pad to sort that out, but a lot of people didn't have those, so uh, I actually put this below the Mega Drive 1 because of the, just because of the control system. Thank <laughs> you. 